Hello everybody, today I'm going to talk to you about the Meshed Ivan, it just has been released by GAEG, they have made the first bento head was Damon and also they made the female virgin Barbara and they released Mia and tonight or today they have released Ivan which is a bento head was different looking than the the Damon one because it just looks younger like what they did with the Mia type of thing they also changed the head and made it look younger so I just got the the demo I'm trying to demonstrate here and show you the new feature they added for the Ivan head well, first of all, I was wearing my daemon shape with my body, but eventually I tried to change that because it didn't look so good. They do include the shape with the body, like I will show you in my inventory here, but I'm not wearing their shape. I'm wearing my own, so this is the event shape they, they have. But I'm not where I'm gonna show you how it looks like when I'm talking about in depth how to change uh, the sliders with the face and everything. Also, I'm wearing my my skin here by Cliff Dibon, and this is Bradley. That's the new updated skin tone, so it matches my slink body. I'm wearing my slink. As you notice, I'm not wearing the slink. Uh, neck fix because actually the neck fixes with this head is comes with the built-in skin tones that the GAEG makes GAEG makes they they have their own skins but since I'm not wearing their own skin so the shading for the neck fade is just gonna work with only these tones in here so let's jump into it. The head comes with the in the demo version that comes with the smart HUD. Smart HUD, as you can see, it's minimized here in the corner, and there is like an Omega applier. But I'm not. I'm wearing my own Omega applier. I can wear the one I have because I have the Damon head. So this Omega applier thing is gonna work for this demo as well. This one here has no makeup option so it doesn't work with the makeup but as you can see I, I could easily apply my my tone and match my skin and everything so and also keep in mind they don't give you in the demo the AO for the facial expressions so I tested the facial expression expressions that came with uh, Altamora this is the picture of the head they have released so you can see the difference here Wearing different skin always make a difference. I'm not sure if I'm gonna change my skin. Right, let me show you if I did change my skin, how the face would look like. Let's say I'm just wearing the my own tone here. I'm gonna try to this number five and see how it looks like <laughs> when it clears up a bit. As you can see, that's the skin here. It's not gonna match perfectly, but you get the idea. Of the picture, I have made my my diff my changes here, so you can notice that I might have to change the jaws here a little bit to match these. But let me put on my other shape that here that comes with uh, with my f with my skin that match my body by Cliff. And let me take you through the hut. The hut has the question mark here for support if you're gonna load the, the page and also so basically the information and the question marks give you the um, the page you can go to and find more info here you can have like a stand pose but I'm using the Altimora stand pose so I don't need it so the X button is gonna close the hut and you have the customizable buttons here to save whatever changes you have made 
so you simply just click on the red icon here to select save and it's gonna say it's recording and then once it's done you can apply it so whenever you change your so it's perfectly saved successfully so when I hit apply it's gonna apply my saved presets so they have the teeth you can change them you can hide the teeth you can show them by clicking the teeth itself material that this features works well with my slink body because I can ha have my body full brightness enabled and disabled as well it's going to show you if, if, if you change the light settings you can make your head just a bit glowy and this is control the glossiness let me show you the max not see much in here maybe I have to change the wind lighting and, and everything to be able to see it and the shadow appeared this works also with the default skin so if you're not wearing their default skin this feature is not gonna work also the skin tones is gonna change the skin you are wearing so you be careful when you touch that and if you're gonna if you don't have the skin with the body you got you can just match the skin colors here but keep in mind it's just it's just gonna be one one tone of the, the head not like a normal skin that you wear like the, the skin actually you get has different shades and different tones in it it's not one color so keep in mind when you select a color it's gonna make it like one color solid color so you have to bear in mind with this kind of thing so in the hair section you can find the beard you can just pick some different styles with the beard you can go without beard and you can select the beard color hair base or come up with your own uh, hair base color the beard you don't have the ability to pick color I think the, the picker here the pick one here is for the hair bases so that's that's about it and you have also the same same exact HUD for Damon as well you have the eyebrow colors and you have the lips you can just add some light skin on the lips or mid skin or dark tone on the lips you can add the facial scar or without facial scar you can make the eyebrow different styles and they also they are, that's why the main reason I like this brand they have like tons of tones and ability to customize your looks it's always a great feature when I want to make a folk picture or something like that I just look for some ability some uh, tools to change and make it look the way I want if I want to go with a fierce look I would just go with the scar and have the ability to change that and that's this is the good thing in this head the head itself you have the lashes you can make it the 3d lashes you can pick them eyeshadow if you want or hide them and you have the alphas and I noticed they added the tongue feature here you can show and hide your tongue as you can see I'm gonna zoom in here you notice this red tongue is gonna disappear once I hit hide and reappear once I show it so it's a cool feature the tongue and everything is gonna work with the animation and the AO section or HUD they have and they gonna they have already released the animation but I'm using my Daemon AO and it works perfectly here with this um, face it's no problem here so I would tell you to get a demo and try it out maybe some Daemon animation will look great on Ivan, Ivan and might vice versa also some animation from Ivan will look great on Damon so uh, this is a good 
uh, analogy here to try and see what's going what's going on with the um, with the stuff you're getting. So it's a good idea to to test and and play when you manipulate the stuff you're using here. So as you can see, the layers here: layer one, layer two, three, and four, five and six, and seven and eight. So you can see each layer. This is the tattoo affects the tattoo: hair base, eyebrow, eyeshadow, lips, upper head liner and beard, brows and lashes in seventh and eighth, and the skin layer, of course. So these layers help you to, or this alphas you to help you to clear if you have like a tattoo or have something that's bothering you you can just um, take care of that by clearing this channel from the from the layer you you are you are, you are bugged with so this is a nice feature to do also this button master button here clears all the layers so I wouldn't go for it unless I want to I could clear it all and then I hit apply to for that really pre-saved presets I have so it's it's nice here I can do that but that's the last resource and you can you see the add-ons well on my uh, my demon head I purchased like beards the built-in beards so they have this kind of a neat feature as well they make their own add-ons and you just simply purchase them and you simply install them and it appears in this section in this area this is where you get here you will have a bunch of controls over the add-ons you purchased and it will appear here I'm not wearing their um, their ears that's the main reason also I, I went and bought Damon head they have the ability to shape shaper I um, ear shaper you have like a shaper that you can able you are able to move your ears angle and make it pointy pointy or adjust it so your hair will not is going to be in the way also this is a nice feature i haven't seen much but eventually I came to the, this conclusion that eventually I'm not gonna wear their own mesh ears I'm gonna purchase my own so I'm just wearing my my own shape uh, my own ears I bought so I didn't really bother to change much of that so you point the point is when you are just gonna purchase their ear they have like an, a shaper that you can help you to adjust the mesh ears that comes with the rigged very good rigged mesh ears that comes included in the full version and you have the ability to change the angles if you want a demonstration I can just make a video with Damon and show you how it looks like anyway so I'm gonna wear their own shape now and show you how Ivan looks like with their shape and I'll also recomm recommend if you're just gonna wear because this is an Omega head uh, compatible and this is this head is gonna cost you around if you are in the group in the VIB group the VIB group is joined for free and you can go to the store and get the, the head for 2660 if you're not gonna purchase it from the group with the group tag you're gonna get it for 2800 lindens and you have the I was gonna show you also the Nick fix Nick blend here for these different bodies you don't need actually because if you're just wearing a, st um, a standard body like Slink, Signature, Standard or Adam you have the no problem or as well I just wear it with my David body by NX I have no problem here wearing the body with the head as as long as it's just Cuts with the same UV maps as a standard system, um, regular avatars that used to use before the mesh. So you don't have to really worry about the Nick blend. You just need to purchase the skin for the body you're wearing and the skin for the head, 
and, and that's going to blend easily, nicely with the change of wind light setting to to make it normal. As you can see, there's no problem here unless I change it, the wind light setting. You can notice there will be the neck seamless line and that, I'm afraid, is not going to be fixable unless you have uh, like the head combined with the, the body actually cut exactly for the body like signature they have the signature head if you're wearing uh, Adam you get the Adam head with it but then you will not be able to wear your, your Yvonne with it so this is the, the trend of here you are just gonna get gain some and lose some so if you like this head I would recommend just keep your settings and wind light um, high or as as good as you can make it so you will not notice the seamless line also I have to mention that some people are just gonna purchase this head and you notice there's no cuts for Nermuth so it's not gonna really fit Nermuth very well and there's an also a contradiction here with the Nermuth body it's not have does not have the the standard UV maps so it's just different UV maps uses different UV maps and that means it's not really Omega compatible just the clothing is Omega for it and the neck is gonna fit but does not gonna go right on top of the body the cuts for the Nermuth head is just different around the neck and they did not include that in the GAEG version here and you have also the problem to match the skin so the built-in skin with the skin that comes with Nermuth are great but there is no like Omega skins that Nermuth sells or something like that you can just apply it over the head that if you, they have the like the normal skin for if you're just gonna wear your standard system head they have like skin tones for that but does that does not work with the mesh head so you're gonna be struggling with the colors you can try to pick a color as as to match as much as possible but it's not gonna be 100 percent as you liked like it to be so again here you have to gain some and lose some like i said so i'm going to show you how the shape their own shape looks like let me get rid of the shades here also let me have nude here and I'm gonna wear their own shape they have also included other shapes as well you notice it's different than mine the, the jaws are just less here and then shrink the bodies shrink everything this is like a standard, you're just gonna wear it and just work with the slider because this is a bento head. So I'm gonna go through them and show you what you can do. First of all, they you have the head size, so you can actually increase, decrease, and stretch, stretch the head. It's good to have a chin so you can keep it stretched, and you can just play with the head shape not too much you just have to be carefully when you are adjusting that so not true and like your aspects of ratios you're trying to achieve with the head this is the egg shape head and you can just play with it as well head length and some features you need to just go to the side and look from the different angle what is going on it's changing with it with this slider you can see the head now is moving and face shear I will not go much with these if you're gonna just drop it or not you can just drop it one or two not too much if you ask me and the forehead angle you notice if I go from the side here it's gonna change the angle so pretty much if they gonna leave it on 65 is fine I have no problem here brow size 
you can also make your own by simply clicking on the brow size here shaper and just I'm gonna wear it for you here and you can select it and edit it and edit this eyebrow so your eyebrow can just increase decrease I see so you can just play with this eyebrow as well eyebrow height arc and points make it evil <laughs> but undo changes here I'm not gonna change much here and back to the shape I was going through so that's about the um, head face shear and angle and eyebrow upper cheeks and lower cheeks also you have to go and look from angles you can see this is gonna change the cheekbones and lower if you wanna go with giving it like concave area in here I'm just gonna lower increase the sunken and it's a cool feature I noticed that in Katwa had like Stanley and stuff like that they tried to to increase this area so you can notice the upper cheekbones appearing and you can change here the cheekbones as well so the eyes section you can go crazy but I don't, <laughs> don't really go crazy with it just try to be thrifty and thoughtful what you what size you're gonna put on for the eyes because actually if you're gonna go drop lower it's gonna make your eye pops and you don't want to do that and I like to have like my wide open eyes so I I'll ch I always tend to increase the size of, of the eyes here eye opening as well it's gonna it's nice to have big eyes eye spacing if you're gonna play with the spacing but not too much because that's gonna affect the face and the, the looks you're looking outer corners if you're just gonna notice how it how it moves the corners the outer corners so I will go for 100 maybe or so inner if you wanna go with the inner eye corner as well you can change that eye depth you're gonna have to move to the side and see that for your own with the eye depth you can just go lower it down if you like eyelids if you're gonna close the eye or just open the eyes lids eye bags as well and buffy eyelids if you wanna make it wall a bit and um, eyelashes but that's not gonna affect anything um, eye pop it's not gonna affect anything as well ears I'm not wearing their ears so it's not gonna be affected and the nose you can simply play with the nose 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 width nostril width and nostril division nose thickness upper bridge so you can just lower bridge as well bridge width and no step no step shape you can still play with it crooked nose I don't recommend that but you can still play with it with it lip width if you're gonna make the crooked shapes try to to decrease it or increase it a notch not so much so the face will not go ruined lip width, lip fullness, thickness, the lip ratio also you bear in mind you have to move your camera around to see exactly how the face is looking when you are working on that try to adjust it as much as you perceive how and you can you consider it done when you are satisfied with the looks so I'm just gonna over the sliders for you to to show you how it, mouth corners which ones are working which ones are not cliff cliff depth and lip cliff you can notice 
slightly changes here when I move that slide and mouth shift I will not touch that as well if you're gonna don't need to really mess around you can just drop it a notch or two if you are aiming for some certain looks you have in mind the chin so chin angle you have to go here and just look for the chin as you can see it's gonna affect it yes and jaw shape so you can just make it wider like I did but not too much so you have to be reasonable and sensible when you stretch the head you have the ability to stretch the jaws chin depth you can increase that or decrease it jaw angles jaws angles angle the jaw angle okay so you can look with your jaws so sharp like looking the slope is very high jaw jot but I will not really change that much you can see the lower lips and upper lips going backward and forward you want to make it like even so jewels I haven't seen much of it so no jewels chin cleft not affected upper chin cleft nothing chin neck yes you can see the chin neck here so you can drop that or make it narrower thin or double as whatever your preferences is I'm not gonna save that so you have this shape and you can just manipulate its pinto shape pinto head so you can change it whatever you like and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial thanks for watching